Hmm, hello, welcome back to Dragon's Dogma 2 once again with the voiceover because the microphone didn't record any sound. Um, yes, so we will do the. Um, we will go to the castle with Brand because we are ready to go, we finished everything. And we have uh, new team members. Guts and Edward. Edward looks like a... Um, forgot the name. A soldier from... A Grey Warden from Dragon Age, so... And Lapan... Uh, Nipa now he's our healer and we are playing as an archer, so... I think we are ready to go. I still don't know how to play with an archer that well, so... It will be fun! Welcome. Let's wait for Brent because he's... Always at night. Always appears at night, I mean. And I think we will speak with him and we will go to the. I there is much we ought to tell. How do you say it? If we are to stretch or shall change. If your majesty. Yes, the coronation. That's it. Very well. The coronation we are ready is to, to go. take place on the morrow. We shall depart early in the morn, so your majesty will do well to get a good night's rest. Turn to the tavern. Sovereign commanded the pawns at the coronation, proving his own powers arisen. According to Regent King Sven, the pretender was wearing some sort of lavish necklace at the time. I imagine this artifact is the godsway mentioned in that letter. Perchance it is a tool that grants power akin to that of the true arisen. It would do much to explain the events that we have beheld afore now. Alas, unless we find some way to unmake this godsway's power, Proving your majesty's legitimacy shall be difficult indeed. Pray, allow me time to search for a way forward. I shall inform your majesty when I have prepared a plan of action. Never could I have imagined such an outcome. What manner of artifact is this god's sway? I suppose tis pointless to ponder. Let us await the results of Captain Brandt's investigation. True enough. Welcome to- We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I- Wonderful. Welcome to the- We serve all manner of fine ales here. Come back any time. Methinks this will be of interest to Captain Brandt. Shall we go inform him? There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Regarding the matter of the godsway, I fear there is naught to be done, save for your majesty to venture to Batal, where you might uncover the false sovereign's secrets directly. The sigil upon that letter from some days past bore the crest of the Batali palace. Surely there's ought to be found therein. Yet official dealings twixt Patal and Vrumund are suspended. Passing through their fortress will prove a difficult task. 
With such hindrances in mind, I thought to prepare this. Pray, take it. Few may pass through Batal's fortress, save Beastron merchants. With some coin, I was able to convince one such merchant to grant us that entry permit. It ought guaranteed passage through the border checkpoint. But alas, tis intended for a Beastron. You shall have to act the part. But as to how that should be done, I am shamed to say I do not know. It will depend upon your majesty's ingenuity. So that's how the fake reason he's controlling the pawns with that necklace. Sir Fulvio, the artist whose service Sir Clark commissioned you the arisen. I've been looking for you. Sven wants to meet now you. Now let's he'll be go and speak quarters. with Sven. You can... Everything now leads to Batol. We have the permit or we will have the permit. No, already we already have it. So I went to speak with Sven. He will. You the arisen. Yes, it's the same I've stuff. Sven he will to ask you to investigate to help him investigate these uh, plans as well. And I think we will go to Batol. So you can find his room at the castle, oh, and every time you reach a door. A uh, text appears saying, oh, room, this is room, uh, Sven's quarter, something like that. So you just go from door to door if you don't know where it is, or you just follow this video. Oh yeah, don't forget to equip the soldier armor so you don't get attacked in the middle of the night. Like I was attacked before, and that's it. Next, if that is your destination, we will go to the we cannot follow. checkpoint village. But know that your return I is think. eagerly awaited. For my like in my sword arm use some work. I heard from Captain Brandt that you plan to make for Batal in order to continue your investigation. As for me, I've been looking into my mother's movements since last we met, and I happen upon this. Tis a letter she discarded, only half written. It seems to be addressed to someone called Phasus. I passed an eye over it, though I failed to grasp its meaning, or, or what compelled her to throw it away. Here, I thought it best that you have it. Mayhap you could glean aught from it that I could not. And if you do, would you be so kind as to share it with me? That is only if you have the time to spare. I am in no position to make demands, of course. Now we have this letter and I don't know what to do with it, so I stole everything that I could find. 
And we have another courtly tunic and breeches. We can get them everywhere. I think to do this quest, you have to go to Batol as well. And I saw this painting is really well done. Look at it. He was such a baby. I tried to figure it out by using it and reading the description of the item, but I didn't. I couldn't do anything, so I left. on the right environment. Wonder if there's any easy work not to be had. had. A welcome respite. I'm a predicament. I went back to speak with Brent to make sure if we weren't missing anything else before departing but I don't believe we missed I think we are ready, super ready to go to the new part of the map Yes Welcome to the Star Drop It. We serve all manner of fine ales here. You have my fullest confidence. The permit is intended for a beast. Is it aught else you would speak of? Yuma, do not forget that we would. If we seek further knowledge of the God's way, we ought to make for Batal. Pray, allow me to show you the way. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. We are back at the gates, ready to pass. We have the permit and I will equip my mask. Let's see if... I don't know if this is necessary. But... 
merchant, eh? Have you an entry permit? Hold a moment. That cart has priority. Lord Phasus is come! Open the gates! Seek to enter Batal, I presume? I'll have to check your permit. Go on through. Here I removed my mask. And don't do that. If you equip it to pass the gates. I didn't know why. I didn't figure it out. But we are on the border checkpoint on the other side. We are in battle, finally! And uh, as you can you. see, we are being attacked! I don't know why this happened. <laughs> That's That was quite a welcoming party. I tried to equip again the mask. I was like, oh maybe it's because they don't let humans pass, only Bistrin. But I don't know, maybe it was something... I will finish this here and now! I don't know, I really cannot explain it. I was like, oh, maybe I need to, to flee before my pawns kill someone and then we will be a criminal. I managed to equip the mask and uh -huh. after this stupid fight, I found Brent, I found uh, the guy, uh, the trainer, I forgot his name. Yeah, that guy is about to attack us as, as well. I just ran and I came back and I spoke with everyone, I accept the quest here. They are full of bandits, people here are starving because of it, I and I left it. At market. And the next a video we will explore this map, we will start this area here, so I will leave it here and bye, enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you. Are you alright? You haven't forgotten us, have you, Master? Listen, there's all I would speak of. I've dedicated my life to perfecting my abilities as a soldier, and the skills I've honed are my only pride. As such, there's no greater gift I can offer you than the best of my techniques. You've proven yourself a loyal friend. It is the least I can do. Take this. And may it aid you in your battles to come. I'm still very hungry, so if you've any more food to spare... Spare some charity for the poor. Ah! You there! What do you think you're doing, huh? You keep your hands off him. Don't go thinking you can treat the poor however you like just because you're better off. Uh, calm down, Hugo. You've got it all wrong. This kind sir has been good enough to share some food with me. I've the both of you to thank for my good health and my full belly. Is that right? I suppose I owe you an apology then, cuz. In my defence, one can't be too careful. There's a child snatching scoundrel around nearly every corner in these parts. The name's Hugo, by the way. 
I'm a helper of sorts to the poor in Libya. Ain't many folk willing to offer that sort of kindness. Even just one more is a glad sight, let me tell you. So pay me no mind, and I'm sorry for before. If you're here to help, I'll not say another word against you. Many, many thanks, sir. Lucky I am to have the two of you looking out for me. Surely I can permit myself but a moment's rest. There is aught to be said. Peace a mug of English. Perhaps you've a moment to spare, an ear. Interested in my wares? Oh, what does this say? Let's have a look then. Looking to lay your head, we've soft beds aplenty. Pleasure doing business. Some skills can only be honed on the battlefield. Interested in my wares? What to do? Say, did you hear? There's been another ox cart raid. How many is that now? Dunno. But I'd wager it's the work of bandits. Gotta be them coral snakes again, eh? Sir Lissandro's been iron hands in a bit to flush them out. Though they haven't found them yet. Well, if they're not caught soon, we'll be seeing shortages. Mark my words. You ever heard of the coral snakes? There's no lack of brigands looking to make some easy coin out on the roads. But what's scary about these coral snakes is how damn organized they are. Talk is, they fall upon you all at once, and they're gone just as quick. Along with all your goods and coin. We've had no luck catching them either, I'm ashamed to say. I thought only fools turned to banditry. But if they're capable of maneuvers like that, they must be a clever sort, eh? Why not live honestly if they've the brains for it? Suppose that's a foolish question. At any rate, if you've a mind to catch them and make a name for yourself, you ought to speak to Sir Lissandro. <laughs> A group of bandits has been terrorizing the roads of late, targeting our ox carts and the cargo they carry. They call themselves the Coral Snakes, and they are no common thieves. They are organized and deadly efficient. And worse still, they are without scruples. They have been killing and stealing in equal measure. Devils, the lot of them. What say you? Would you lend your aid in catching them? Many thanks, sir. I should be glad to know someone is doing aught to help us. You all begin by scouring for their hideout. It must be somewhere near the highway, for that has been their primary target thus far. Mayhap you could learn aught by speaking with some survivors of the raids. I fear I must attend to my prayers. bit of excitement in my life. Only fools devote their lives to toil. Did you need something, dear? We've naught to discuss. 
I shall come at once, Arisen. <laughs>